It's Aaron from Aaron's Complete Electrical here. Just with a quick tip about solar system and your DC isolator. Now this is your inverter, which converts uh, your DC voltage from your solar panels into AC that you can actually use in your house. And this is the isolator, which isolates the solar panels, which is like a generator from the system so that you can safely work on it. Uh, you can see this is one of the original type of isolators that they were using when they first brought in the government rebate scheme and when solar first became popular. Now this is actually two isolators. It's a circuit breaker type isolator with an overload function in it. Um, and you see it looks just like a normal circuit breaker. Turn it off and then back on. Now the problem with these DC isolators is industry-wide no one is really using this type of isolator anymore and now there's a couple of reasons for that firstly it's because these isolators if they're not installed correctly and if you turn them off at the wrong stage in the inverter cycle they can actually just catch fire uh, with you doing nothing more than turning them off now personally we at Ace Electrical have seen approximately six to eight of these type of isolators catch fire within the last year. So every time we go out to do any solar repairs and we see this type of isolator, we're just recommending that they just be replaced just to avoid any chance of, a, of an electrical fire. It's the last thing that you want. Now, they haven't changed the standard and banned these in any way. They've slightly changed the way you're allowed to use them, but industry-wide, no one else is using them. And simply because of the fact that we have seen so many fires, when we come to your place, if we find one of these, we will recommend that you replace it with a new type of DC isolator. Now this is a DC isolator, uh, the new type that we're using. You can see the switchings. It's far more heavy duty. In this case, because there's two strings of solar panels and it's quite a big inverter, we would need to use one DC isolator for each string, which means you'd end up with two DC isolators next to each other here. So if you have a look at your DC isolator and you see this old circuit breakers type, sometimes they've been installed poorly with the cable entry going through the top and you can see slight, slight signs of rust or water damage, then that's another reason why your DC isolator can catch fire is the, the water damage in there. So if you find that you've got, you know, this old circuit breaker style DC isolator at your place, then give your local electrician a call, or if you're in Sydney, call Aaron's Complete Electrical on 1300 796 500, and we'd be happy to help you out. Anyhow guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.